let's learn about radial gradients today here we have our canvas with an idea of my canvas with a two pixels black dotted border also note that it has a width and height of 250 pixels each so this is a continuation video of our previous day video tutorials on linear gradient so today we are we are learning radial gradient we begin our tutorial by tracing a path it's an arc basically so our canvas is 250 into 250 pixels so I'll take half of it that is I'll draw a circle with the center at 250 pixels x-axis and 250 pixels y-axis with a radius of 100 pixels starting angle of 0 and an end angle of 360 degree which means a full circle let me just stroke it and show it on our canvas so this is our circle so let me draw our radial gradient I'll take a variable called RDL we have a simple method called create radial gradient which takes six arguments which is two point two circles basically first one being a smaller circle and the next one is a relatively bigger circle so this first circle is inner circle for our second circle so we will have smaller radius here at this is our first circle with 125 into 125 as its center and this is our larger circle with the same center point but a bigger radius which means the second point is a bigger circle and the first point is a smaller circle which is inside our big circle that is the second point so like our previous day video tutorial we add add, uh, add color stop here at 0.0, .0 I'll give red color at 0 0.5 let's draw blue color and finally at the point 1 we will draw green color this is blue and the last one is green still nothing actually re reflects on our actual arc even we refresh it because we have to assign this to our fill stroke but before that let me stroke style it to some pink color just to make it look pretty or else or just to show its border now i'll write fill style and assign it a value of rdl our radial gradient now i'll fill it and let's have a look at it on our browser okay this is radial gradient let me increase the line width here to 2 pixels by default it's 1 pixels so I'm increasing its width by one more pixel with a, we also know how to draw shadow so let me add a shadow color which is black and a shadow blur of 10 remember in radial gradient we have two circles one is inner and one is an external circle so if we we can change this radial gradient by changing our inner circle value that is the position of the center of our inner circle now let me change the x and y axis of our inner circle let me just pull it somewhat upwards and towards left 
that is 150 pixels x axis and 120 uh, 1 105 pixels x axis and 105 pixels y axis so that is a slight movement of the inner circle so this is how we change the radial gradient in a circle so remember we have two circles one is inner one is external circle by changing the position that is center location of inner circle we change the uh, gradient that is in a radial fashion please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel also like this video on youtube